hey guys it's zoe and welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how i installed this ali pearl hair wig um so in the box it came with burst stuff guys like the box was literally bursting open um so that's the wig which we'll get into in a second um so as you can see that's all the bits and bobs we got um got some lashes which i'll probably never ever wear because like they are way too long for me um i got this headband like this cute diamante headband um it also came with two other like cloth headbands this like cheetah print one and then there's like a red i don't even know what print and then it came with this headscarf which i'll definitely be using to like wrap my hair at night because you know you can never have enough of those and then it also came with like a little bag for your wig to store it in and some wig care tips and also you know your wig cap and elastic band so I got a 22 inch 13 by 4 frontal wig and I got a medium cap size and this cap actually fit me perfectly guys you'll see in a second but it's literally like the perfect fit for me which never ever ever happens so yeah now I know what you guys may be thinking haven't you already done a wig this colour before, Zoe? Like, what's going on? And no, I have not. Um, you'll see in a second I did a side-by-side -side comparison because it does look similar to my last video. I promise you it's completely different. It's just the lighting that makes it look very similar. Um, as you can see, that's the lace colour, um, like a medium brownish tone. But yeah, here's like a side-by-side. -side. And then here is another better, you know, view of the colour difference. So the one on the left this time is the one i did in my last video and as you can see this is a lot darker and a lot richer as well which i prefer i feel like this one like suits my skin tone like 10 times better i like the other one but it just wasn't like i didn't feel like it complimented me as much um and it just made me look a bit washed out but this one's really cute because it's more like a albany I don't know it's meant to be a brown but it's not brown it's like ginger so i washed the hair just so you know make sure everything's clean and ready to go and then i just pinned it down on my wig head and then i started drying the hair this is literally one of my least favorite parts of doing installs guys like i just hate 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 drying hair because it takes a stupid amount of time but yeah i just quickly went ahead and did that once I got the hair dry, I started my plucking process. So this is what the frontal looked like. I find with Ali Pearl frontals, like they're kind of dense. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it takes me a while to get into it and like pluck the wigs properly. Cause as you can see, like there's not really much of a gradient going on. Um, so this is the side that I plucked. That's, that's what it ended up looking like. It took me like a good hour to pluck this side. I'm not even gonna lie. So. Yeah, just keep that in mind um i have noticed that about the ali pearl wigs that they do tend to be a little bit more dense when it comes to the front part of the wig <laughs> so just a quick summary of how i pluck my wigs i just start at the front of the wig and just work my way back as you can see and then i also make sure i consistently wet the hairline because it helps me to be able to see where i need to pluck and where i still like you know if there's any bald spots as you can see it just clarifies everything um, I don't know if you guys can see that line there, but that's the line of demarcation that you want to get rid of. Like there's a little like mark there that's just like unblended. So you want to focus on getting that looking completely seamless and natural. So yeah, here I've just parted off the hair a little bit and then I'm going to start plucking going backwards from there. And then, you know, just keep doing that until the hair is completely plucked. So this is the amount of hair that I ended up plucking off the wig. As you can see, it took quite a bit, but yeah, the results came out quite cute. Now, moving on to the install, like, I never ever do the wig cap method. Like, I normally just don't wear wig caps underneath my wigs just because I take mine off, like, straight at night. But I wanted to try out this new glue um, today, so I feel like I had to wear the wig cap to protect my natural hair and my edges. So, as you can see, I'm just pulling it over my ears and then cut two little holes for my ears to poke them through and make it easier to flatten and lay down onto my skin make sure it's pulled up super super tight by the way like you don't want it to be loose in any way and then i'm taking my got to be hairspray and just spraying a thin layer of it all around my hairline and where i want it to be stuck down i use my finger you can also use a comb but this is just easier to just smooth out the the hairspray 
and make sure you really focus on getting that like crevice by your ears because you don't want it to be lifting up or anything and then i just dried it with my hair dryer you want to make sure it's completely completely dry before you start cutting off the excess wig cap please 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 make sure it's dry guys So now I'm just cutting the wig cap as you can see. You want to cut as close to your hairline but just past it if that made any sense. So if you're like me and you've got like these tiny little, I don't know if you can see like the parts where it's not glued down properly or if it's a little bit too far down onto my forehead, I just take the scissors and just simply like cut them off a little bit further um, so I can get my desired um, look with the wig cap. Once I've got that, I still have these little bits that are just not stuck down. I'm just taking my got to be gel and I'm just pressing that down with the end of a rat tail comb. And again, this just ensures that it's completely flat and seamless because you will be able to see those edges lifting up underneath the wig if you don't get this completely perfect and seamless. So you do want to focus on getting the wig cap and the base perfect. Once I do that, I'm just drying it with my hair dryer again, making sure it's completely dry and flat and ready to go for the wig. So now I'm just going to fit the wig on top of my head um, and just, you know, brushing and making sure everything's adjusted well to my head size. I, like I said before, this wig literally fits me perfectly and I'm shook because that never happens. Um, and yeah, also guys, I've got a hot comb. Don't know why I've only just got one, but it's literally changed and revolutionized my life. I think everyone needs to invest in one. So I'm just taking this and brushing all the hairs away from the hairline so I can really see where I'm gluing down and cutting everything. And then I'm just clipping everything back to make sure we've got a seamless base to start with. Taking my scissors, again, I'm trying a new technique here as well, guys. So I'm cutting a few, like, how many slits is this? Like four, I'm cutting like four slits. Um, to start off with rather than cutting off the entire lace and then what I'm going to do is just glue underneath each slit you'll see that in a second um, rather than gluing like I don't know you'll, you'll see what I mean it's really hard to explain so now I'm going to take my better than melt lace glue and this is my first time ever using a wig like a proper wig glue guys I always always and always have used got to be or like you know just the spray gels so this is like a whole new venture for me I've never used ghost bond none of that so I really wanted to try this out and see if it actually lasts and like was as good as people say it is so I went ahead and applied three layers of this um and just dried each layer and made sure each layer was dry before I went in with the next one and then once the glue was really tacky I went ahead and placed the wig back over the area that I've just placed the glue on. I'm not gonna lie, I messed up a little bit. I didn't make the layers thin enough. Like they were a little bit like, not lumpy, but like they weren't completely smooth. So in future, just make sure like you guys smooth out every single layers because you will be able to see like, you know, what's going on under there. So here's me just drying it again. <laughs> and then realizing, you know, you can see the layers and it looks a bit white. Um, but I went ahead and fixed that. So on the edges, I learned my lesson and I only went with two layers this time just so I can, you know, practice a little bit um, before advancing to, you know, three plus layers. And I'm just popping that on either side and then just blow drying it completely flat against my head. So this glue lasted me like a good week I'd say I mean it could have lasted longer but I really just had to take it off I hate sleeping with my wigs on but completely waterproof humidity proof I wore this in the shower guys like she's she's the real deal so so I think it's 100% worth investing in this guys now I don't know if you guys can see it on camera properly but there's like a white cast almost left from the glue because I just messed it up a bit all I literally did was grabbed my comb and just brushed the frontal a little bit and brushed where I glued down the hair and the whiteness completely dissipated as you can see here. Now I'm just taking my scissors and just cutting the lace off section by section and again you know the zigzag motion guys I drill on about it just make sure 
you cut a jagged line away cutting your lace off. Now I know the hairline looks crazy right now, please allow it. We still need to add the baby hair so it's gonna look good, trust me, but yeah, it looks kind of mad right now. So I just brushed my hair out and then figured out where I wanted my hair parted because that's how I um, pick what baby hair effect I want. So today I decided to go for a side part, which I haven't done in quite a while, I don't feel like I'm, I'm usually a middle part girl, but I decided to do a side part. So I just parted that out and made sure it was completely straight and neat and then I took my hot comb again and just brushed the part in so that it would stay in place. Clipping my hair out of the way again, I just took the baby hair sections that I wanted and parted them off and then took a little bit of my got to be glued gel, the black one, and pressed down onto the lace so that it would just hold in place. Then I just trimmed off how long I wanted the baby hairs to be and took a bit of my cream of nature mousse and applied some to the hairline and then directly swooped over the baby hairs after. The good thing about this glue as well guys is the mousse doesn't disrupt the glue. Normally when I'm using my you know got to be gel it actually like loosens when I'm moosing down my baby hairs which is super super annoying but this actually like stays in place because it's waterproof so yeah I really really like that about it. So as you can see I'm doing some little sideburns as well. And now I'm just hot combing the hairline back again. Um, since it does have the mousse in it, I want it to be completely sealed and again, flat. That is the main key word here, just flat hair, guys. So once I've got all the baby hairs done, I'm just taking my hair dryer and making sure everything's completely dry. And just taking a bit more of the mousse and making sure it's completely flat at the top as well where I parted the hair. So if you guys are wondering where I've been the past literally two months, your girl has had Rona, my whole family had coronavirus, and then I literally caught the craziest conjunctive itis of my life. Like, my eyes were swollen shut for a good week and a half, two weeks. So yeah, I've been through it, but I'm all back, back to normal and, you know, good to go again. So expect some more videos soon. Now just taking my trusty hair tie, I'm just gonna wrap my hair really, really, really tightly around with this and just make sure I set the glue with the wig and the lace and the baby hairs to make sure it just does not go anywhere. So I put that in place. And as you can see, my hair's not straight right now. I normally straighten and do all of that before, but I wanted to show you guys these new straighteners I got. So it is the T3 Lucia ID, um, heat id god i can't find the actual name of it but um it's this hair straighteners it's touch screen super high tech i don't even know myself um and yeah this is what they look like a little trick i learned from tiktok by the way if you're buying new hair straighteners is make sure that when you close open and close the hair straighteners like i'm doing here there's no gap in between because that just ensures that there's even heat being distributed throughout your hair um while you're straightening it Okay, so I don't know if you just heard it vibrate, but the minute I, I plugged it in, they... I think I'm pressing something. Guys, look, it's like touch screen. Can you see that? So... Hold on. I'm so confused. I think I need to read, like, the instructions. What? Is this? I see okay okay so basically I figured it out what I needed to do is straighten my hair like while it's still cool and then it like analyzes your hair strands or whatever and I think what did I press off that I can't even remember guys this is too high tech for me but I basically as you just saw put my hair through it and then it is now like, I 
don't know if you guys can even see this but it's heating up I want to get my dusty ass nails in this but it's heating up right now it's ready okay let's let's do this I'm scared um hi again it's me so now we're just straightening the hair section by section um the straighteners were good I think I feel like I should have gone for a higher heat because it just wasn't you know giving me the heat that I wanted because it adjusted to what it thought my hair wanted but yeah I definitely next time I'm gonna just up the heat a bit then I also just took my baby less curlers as usual and just put in some big Hollywood waves once I finished that I'm just taking my head wrap off it's kind of stuck to the glue I'm not gonna lie um as you can see there but this is what the hair was looking like and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video take care bye bye